One to go. Just listen to the roar when she's announced. The world champion four years ago in Torino. Since then, she's battled a little with her demons and with her technique. But she's been back with a vengeance this year. The winner in Skate America, the winner in the NHK trophy here in Japan. Just lining up the axle there, the triple axle, which was her key jump. She'll do it in the short right now, and she'll do it in the long on Saturday. And if she lands them, she will probably be the Grand Prix final winner. Mawasada from Nagoya in Japan. the axle oh. now she has to keep her composure but she normally does it so well lovely triple flip Yes. Triple loop, double loop. One of the performances of her career, and she's done it here in Japan. And as far as the event goes, she's put the others in a box and slammed the lid tight. Just watch the bouquets rain down on this Phenomenal athlete. Pure joy for the spectators. Just, just great. From the first moment she started to skate, I found this huge smile on my face. The beauty, the grace the deafness, and yet 
the athleticism, the axle was as soft as you like on the landing. Lovely height. The sharpness in the movement. Here's the axle. Big element, lots of height. You were smiling. Can you imagine the feelings of the 7,000 here? So many of them, young women, and they look up to her really like a goddess. Nobuo Sato. It's Yuka Sato's mother and father who coach her. And what a fabulous job they've done. It looks like she's back to her best. She's been so consistent this year. Her big rival for the Olympics for the World Championships, Kim Yunar of Korea. Not here, of course. Still recovering from injury. But she's going to have to go some. If Asada lands a triple axel like she did here in Sochi and in Saitama, she could be home and dry, whatever Kim Yunar does. Remember, it was Kim who beat her in Vancouver in the Olympics nearly four years ago. Every neckline, every headline that she gets, the extension of the fingers and the looking along them and over them and the presentation, that softness. A supreme artist. When you see girls in a, a, a ballet studio doing class. Looks like they're doing no effort, but their body is taught and they're doing loads and loads of work. And she has that. She has that ability to stretch out the fingers and it just reach at the end. And in all her facial expression, the way she's portraying the piece, it's beautiful to watch. Transitions to die for. Well, it's hardly an anxious wait. She's going to be clear. How far clear? We shall see. 68-38, the best score so far. That's going to be put in its place. 72-36, I'm surprised it's not higher than that. Very surprised. Three points lower than her personal best. But it's first place and right.